Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Deep move. It's time for the robot, Ole. This is not the first time he has played it this summer, which is... Uh... Miraculous for me to say those words, but a lot of fun actually in this next champ select and Piglet. I play that once again. Doran Shield has really put her in a beastly position at the top laner. Another great Another hook by onto Matt. Level two was there for Cody, but the trap didn't quite connect. As Rainer has actually moved towards the top side of the map, Flame could be in trouble. Vital Prox has the flash out as Rainer got slow. Flash in for the next slow. Vital number two is up. There's three. Lolo looking for the first one and he's gonna grab it. Lolo rain over. The cannon minion had him in the sights. Betrayal, and now Matt's gonna flash out of the way. Olé, yet another hook. Matt's gonna go down. Cody son almost messed that up, but does manage to secure the kill. As Piglet trying to make it happen. Oh, flashing many Root still providing pressure on Bot. Look at that. Oh, Root Man's in the trap, though. Not quite there, Matt. Burning low with the Ignite as Cody son east towards him. Headshot oh. there, but a little more. Shield is good. Cody son still needs a bit more going. But here's Poe Belt gonna finish it up. The Peacemaker snipes Matt, though. Ooh. That's the attempt there from LA. Charm wants to play both for the Golden Glue. Oh, no, that's the kill. Rain over. Finally teaming up with his mid laner. Yeah, we talked about at the start that jungle mid synergy is something that I'm going to try and get a kill. He's that's not that reinforcement, but I don't know if it's going to be fast Might enough. Bay, Flame already leaves him, but Lola gets out. The ulti immediately burns. That's the kill for Piglet. Ole goes down in a flash. Yeah, the ultimate from Flame, it's easy to just queue it. Now threatened by Ole and the Blitzcrank. Oh, back for him. Great hook on a rain of a finally lands with Piglet. Flicking off to the side, is that so late? Gonna go down. Piglet dabs that kill as Lola TP's into the action. And now Cody's son, he's the next target. No flash ever to Caitlyn. Flash charge for Golden Blue's gonna secure a rain over. Able to grab the next kill and TR pick up two clean ones. Yeah, and they'll have the inside track on mid. Gonna take the in hit down as well with the Baron. Looking to go over to Immortals. Not close enough. Yep. Good snipe from his really secure as But now Rain over gonna leap back and onto the Blitzcrank. Piglet here. We're gonna get the chain stuns happening. Does land one, but Ole flashes over the wall. Poe Belter trying to get out of the way as the shockwave hits only Matt. Ace and Hole's gonna blow out. Belter does get the deletion, but Lolo's still going. Yeah. Lolo, don't know if he'll get this turret though. The Baron empowered recalls come through. Making that Trinity Force do some work, but there goes the Baron buff. And here comes Ole, looking to light it up. <laughs> Lolo flashes, Ole still speeding forward. Lolo through the turret, repost is good. Does Whoa. get the stun onto Flame. Ace in the hole, not enough, and now it's midi. He's gonna make it happen. Poe Belter Shut uh, puts the ball on top of him, and that's gonna be a trade. In fact, maybe Flame yeah, we just go back into the pivot. Chocolate Blanc in, he's dead. Immortals might keep going. They know he doesn't have it from the last time the Flame did that. They're gonna try to go for these. They have the Baron-powered minion. All right, they're gonna try and end the game before it gets too out of hammer. Golden to the I mean, back to his mission, right? They said, hey, be on a side with us. Rainer gets hooked by Olay. He's going to get out of there. Popping the ulti, but Matt now trapped in a pit. Smithy does manage to land the next kill. Flame is taking it all. Lolo Golden Blue does land the charm, but TL do come down. To Lolo going for Brock. He's trying to get something. They for Cody Sun, but the Brock wave does land back in onto Lolo. Cody still alive. Takes down Lolo as Golden Blue gets away with a sliver of health. TL threw everything at Immortals there. And Flame has TP. They're going to let this minion wave come in. He'll TP to it and keep it alive so that they can get damage on the turret. All right, this is actually going to be the game ending push for Immortals. They're going to try it and just silence it all now. Lola dead for 40. Golden Blue dead instantly as he tries to get a prick on somebody. Piglet just can't do much on the cannon. Next is Tara Sarkin of 4. Immortals going to look for a few more kills, but TL had such a big lead, and Immortals forced the issue, get to the Baron, and now they'll take the sweep. Looking so good. All series long, and they're just playing with their food right now. Yeah, Immortals. That's yeah, toying around KDA players looking for more. All right, one more left. There's the kill. Piglet goes down. The Nexus explodes. Trying to get those deaths up a little higher. Piglet has been so good at not dying. Immortals. Having none of gonna that. Gonna make it one more. Exactly. They Immortals move to three and one as well, and four and one, and keep themselves at the top of the standings. Like I said, that's big. Trying to break that big four-way tie. They'll be the first to break it as TL's momentum halts after winning their last series in week two. A tough opponent for sure, playing up here against Immortals, and Immortals certainly seem revitalized after that one series loss. And there was some healthy skepticism about, all right, Immortals started 3-1, how good are they? Because they beat FlyQuest, they beat Phoenix 1, and they took three games to do that, but they beat TS.